Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can take your Paid Memberships Pro WordPress membership site to the next level utilizing a custom condition and the Oxygen Builder. Now, I will say Paid Memberships Pro is not my first choice when it comes to WordPress membership plugins, but if you already have a membership site or you already have a license to Paid Memberships Pro, it's often kind of hard to switch between them. So, when you're building your site in Oxygen, you'll find that Paid Memberships Pro works perfectly fine to protect the content within the WordPress content editor. However, if you want to build your site in Oxygen Builder, like we are going to in this case, you will find that everything that's in that WordPress content editor is hidden perfectly fine, but anything outside of that is not going to be hidden. So that kind of negates the functionality of Oxygen, but we're gonna fix that in this video. We're gonna design two separate blocks of content, one that members should see, and then one that non-members or logged out users should see, and then we're gonna utilize a custom condition to protect those appropriately. Now this particular condition is included for all Permislug members, so if you're not yet a member and you want access to this condition, just visit the link in the description below to go to permislug.com and you can sign up to get this condition provided for you. Now as you can see on your screen here, we have a couple of membership levels on this site. We have free, classic, and premium. You would just need to adapt that condition to fit your use case. In this particular example, I feel like these are gonna be some pretty typical membership levels. You would just need to simply change your membership name in the actual code snippet that's provided to you, which I'll show you in a later video. So what we're gonna do on this site is I have a couple of posts here. These are gonna be like my membership posts that I want people to see only if they're members. So if we actually go edit this real quick, what you're gonna find is I created an ACF field group called Post Fields, and I just stuck a WYSIWYG editor in it. So I actually put my content inside of this editor instead of the default WordPress editor, as you can see. Now, I already showed you those membership levels, so over here on the right-hand side when you have PMP installed, you tick which little box you want to apply to which membership. So let's say this post I want people who are premium and classic members to be able to see. So we'll click on update, and then let's go back to another one. We'll set our how to build a website to only premium members, and we'll click on update. So now we have a couple of posts that are gonna be protected by Paid Membership Pro, but we need to go build our Oxygen template and actually apply these custom conditions to show and hide that content appropriately. So as always, I am far from a designer and certainly don't pretend to be one, so this site is going to look relatively simple, but the functionality will be there. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and create an Oxygen template, and we're going to call this one our blog singular template. We're gonna inherit our header and footer from our site-wide template, we're gonna set it to apply to our singular type of posts, publish this, and then jump right into Oxygen. Now keep in mind, I already have this condition installed. And again, if you need that condition, just visit permislug.com. Now the first thing we're gonna do is switch over to one of those posts that we already set up a membership level on. And one of those was like how to attract high paying clients. So let's go ahead and add a section at the top of the page here, and let's make it like an off white color, something like that. And let's stick a heading in it is going to contain our post title. So that looks perfectly fine. Now we're gonna add in a section down here. And then let me open my structure pane so you can kind of see what I'm gonna do here. So inside of this section, I'm going to add in a div and set this one's width to 100%. Now inside of this div, I'm going to add in a text element. I'm going to use the insert data advanced custom field and pop in that WYSIWYG editor that I already added. So this is the tutorial content field from the ACF field group. So this is actually the content that a member should see. This should not be seen by somebody that's either logged out or doesn't have the appropriate membership level. So what I'm gonna do is over here on this div, I'm just gonna rename this something a little bit more clear. Let's just call this like content div. And now let's add in another div on top of this section here. So it sticks underneath our content div. Once again, let's set this to like 100%. Now here's where you would actually design the content that you want somebody that, again, is either logged out or doesn't have the appropriate membership level to see. So let's say you want a heading that has a tag of an H2, and then it says something like, please upgrade your members membership. And then we're gonna stick in like a text element that just says, view this content, you must sign in or register, there we go. And then let's go ahead and we'll just change this tag to a P real quick. And let's pop in a button element. And then we'll just change this to register. And then from here, you would probably set this to your paid memberships pro page for registration, whatever that is. So the other thing I wanna do just quickly to make this clear is this div here. We're gonna rename this and we'll just call it like sales div. 
And then what we're going to do is on these divs, we're gonna apply those custom conditions that I mentioned. So on this sales div, we're gonna to go to show and hide condition, add new, and we'll scroll down here. And once you have that condition installed, you can see that there's a few different options here. So these are pretty self-explanatory, but you might have to kind of play with it. So cannot access is intended to be used when somebody can't access the content, but you want to show that particular piece of content. So in this case, we want our sales div to appear if somebody doesn't have the right membership level. So we're going to apply that particular condition to that div. Now on the other one that they should see if they have the correct membership level is we're gonna to go to this condition here, add it again, scroll down and you're gonna to go to can access. There's nothing to configure on either of those two conditions. It does all of the heavy lifting for you just simply based on those membership checkboxes that we, we set up earlier on those particular blog posts. The condition is actually going to look at the user's membership level and matches it against what is actually on that particular post. Now the other one that you did see here was the user level. So what you can do is actually set it to be a specific user level. So let's say you only wanted this div to appear if the user is classic, you would just simply type in what you want to appear there. But in this particular case, I want it to do it all automatically for me so I don't have to configure different elements you know, for different use cases. So this is gonna work perfectly fine. Now keep in mind, my user profile does not have a membership level set. So if we save and go take a look on the front end, then I should see effectively nothing. So it's already working exactly as we intended to. So again, I can't access this content because my membership level is not set on my user account. So what I'm left with is effectively just that sales div. Let's go ahead and open this page in an incognito window and see what happens. Now incognito doesn't work because that second condition on the sales div is actually looking for a user profile level, which of course it can't find. So what we need to do is actually go back over here to oxygen. On this sales div, we're gonna set the condition type to or, and then we're gonna go add another condition. And this we're gonna scroll down to the oxygen built-in one of user logged in equals false. So we'll save that. Then let's go look at this again in incognito. And there we go. So now we are a logged out user that doesn't have any membership level, of course, and we see that sales div. So if we close out of this, I'm actually gonna go over here to my user account and then let's set ourselves to a premium member so we can see everything. And it's yelling at me about an email address, but my user account is set to premium now, as you can see over there. Just to double check, let's go take a look at what we set this one to. So how to attract high paying clients. We set that to both classic and premium. So now if I go take a look at this, I won't see the sales content, but I will see the actual tutorial content that we see right here. So if I open this up now, you can see there is the actual content of the post and the sales div is gone. And that's all being handled by those conditions. Now, just to demonstrate again, I'm gonna go demote my user account to a classic member this time. And then we're gonna take a look at what happens when you go try to view a post that's only premium level. So let's go to posts over here. And then I think how to build a website was premium only. It is indeed. So when we go take a look at the front end, what we should see is just the sales div and not the actual tutorial content. And sure enough, that's exactly what we're left with. Now, please upgrade your membership would probably be a little bit confusing to somebody who's logged out. So we could take this a step further. And let's say we have two different headings here. I'm just gonna clone this. So please upgrade your membership. Let's just go here to set to that can't access, cannot access. And then the second one here, we're gonna use the condition of logged out. User logged in equals false. And then we're gonna change this. Instead of it saying, please upgrade your membership, we're gonna make it say, please log in. So now if we save this, we go take a look on the front end. Then of course, nothing changes there. But if we go take a look at this in an incognito window, then you can see those conditions are still working for us. So now that other heading is gone and the heading has changed to please log in. This is a perfect example of how you could do something like show and hide different buttons. You could show an upgrade membership button instead of a register button, for instance. So again, just to recap, what I wanted to do is just show you what we have here. So inside of our tutorial content or your blog post, whatever custom post type you're working with doesn't make a difference. The content div here is just simply checking for can access. So if the user can access this, then output that particular div. And then down here, the sales div this condition is checking the fact that they cannot access this or the user logged in equals false. So this is really simple to set up. 
and is all handled through Paid Memberships Pro and that single custom condition. I wanted to just quickly show you the ACF field group that I had set up. So all I did was create an ACF field group and apply it to the post type of post, which it is by default. And I just created one simple field using the WYSIWYG editor. So there's nothing special here, but you can start to add a lot more complex functionality. You could have, you know, radio options for what kind of tutorial it is. The options are more or less endless and you can do really anything because of the fact that that condition is now going to protect whatever it is that you wrap instead of it just being locked into the WordPress content box. So hopefully this is a good demonstration for you of how to take advantage of building your membership site in Oxygen while still protecting your content appropriately. My name is Jonathan Jernigan, founder of Apex Web Solutions and Permaslug. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.